Okay, today we're going to do a transmission drain and fill on this 2011 Nissan Q. So let's get at it. Okay, this is the oil we'll be using today. A Castrol CVT transmission fluid. And you gotta look in the back. This car takes a Nissan CVT NS2. So you gotta look back here. You can see it right here, right above my finger. It says Nissan CVT NS1, NS2, and NS3. So it's the right oil for this car. Okay, let's go down underneath. Okay, we'll go underneath. And here's the drain plug for your transmission. And just so you know whereabouts it is, uh, Right here would be the drain for the engine oil. You see my finger there? Okay. We'll get, let me get this camera situated here so you can see it. So I can work on it. Okay, this is a 19 millimeter. And I'm thinking probably around four, four or five quarts will come out. Okay, it's down to just dripping now, so put the drain plug back in. This has to be torqued to 25 foot pounds. That's it. Okay, I gotta measure out what's in this container. I'm not gonna bother showing you guys that because that's that'll just you know a waste of time. But I'm gonna measure this out, and then we'll go up top, and we'll put in the right amount of oil. Okay, I'm gonna take this cover off here. <clears throat> Might be easier to show you where it is to fill this. Not much room down there. I'm also going to need to take this off. I need a little more room down there. So, get these little clips off. Might be enough room. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, this is the cap you got to get off. You got to put a screwdriver in here. I can't do it with with the camera. The camera's in the way, but and you put a screwdriver in there, 
push in the little clip there and then you pull on it. Let's see if I can get a, get a better angle. And you pull it, and there it is. Okay, this is the dipstick tube. The yellow arrow points to the tab that fits into the dipstick. Now this yellow arrow points to where it clips in and the red arrow is where to release it when you're trying to get it out. Also when you're checking the fluid level, turn this dipstick 180 degrees so it doesn't clip into that, you know, so it doesn't lock into that clip. Okay, back to the video. See that clip mechanism? You just push on that and it releases it. So you push on that with a screwdriver and you can pull it out. Wow, oh, what a stupid design! It's really hard to do. Okay, let's get the fill in this thing. Okay, I'll show you how I have to do this. I have to put a funnel inside of a funnel because I didn't have one long enough. I got, a, I got a small one down below and I got this bigger one up here. Alright. I measured all that oil I drained out and it came up to 4 quarts and 6 ounces. Okay, so let me do that. And I'll be right back. Okay, just four more ounces to go. Well, quarters about there. I'm gonna measure it out there when I warm it. I'm gonna warm it up in a. That should be good right there. I'm gonna let it run for a while. Let it get warmed up, and then I'll check it. Okay, this is the procedure you have to do before you check the transmission fluid with the dipstick. And you gotta make sure the car is warmed up, put your emergency brake on, and then go through the gears. Park, reverse, neutral, drive, low, and back up to park. Go up slowly. Okay. So let's go check the fluid with the dipstick. See that? It's right on the full mark. And she's good to go. Plus, you know, I measured the fluid, so should be all good. Hey, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Thanks for watching, and take care.